Mother Nature sure knows how to treat us right, delivering great sunny days, times to be outdoors and enjoy the state of Oregon. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week we enjoy a gas tank getaway into the Willamette Valley and we join a couple of photographers who really know how to make magic with their cameras. Come on along, we discover a photographer's paradise. It's the size of the Willamette Valley landscape that steals the scene, vast and wide open. While closer at hand, springs easy to spy, especially where wild roses grace Oregon back roads. They invite you to linger longer near St. Paul. Smell. Oh, is that pretty? Where rose blossoms explode into view at Heirloom Rose Gardens. The roses are just about ready to pop into full bloom. Here, in the next week, the whole garden is going to be in just beautiful, full color mm. and really ready. And that first flush of color is really hard to beat. It's just grand. Mm. It's a lot of fun to be out here. Oh, perfect. Photographer Michael Hordisky. Wow, another perfect one. And photo pal Steve Derricks like to ramble across the garden's five acres, cameras in hand, and capture moments of spring. Lighting is probably the most important part of what we do is it's it's all about the light and that's what makes it unique and gives you your flavor and warmth. Steve and Mike have been at this for years and their results show off terrific and tiny roses in a private garden open to the public anytime. People always say oh I stayed a lot longer than I thought I would. There's a lot to see and it's really an enjoyable place. 30 minutes to the south colorful fields reach to the horizon. A signal to stop, walk, and explore a near century old family business, Shriners Iris Gardens. We have almost a thousand varieties, believe it or not. That also counts the dwarf irises that are grown along the pine trees there. About maybe 70 beardless varieties. Four generations of Shriners are celebrating 90 years of iris production. The family manages a business that's as grassroots as it gets and sprawls across 200 acres. The seven acre display garden allows you to wander, perhaps select a favorite that you can order and grow at home. Isn't that beautiful? Steve likes to capture favorites through his camera lens. This is a long lens, this is a 300. I can stay way back here and get a good close up picture. There's so much to photograph here. I mean, you can photograph rows, you can go down to individual flowers, and there's so much. The Shriner Iris Garden is open through May. Steve Schreiner tells me that the best time to enjoy that peace and tranquility is during the week. More crowds show up on the weekends. And Ben Hanna says the rose blossom time is right now and continues all summer long. If you'd like to explore Oregon and take some walks on the wild side, you might want to check out my new book, Grant's Getaways, A Guide to Wildlife Watching in Oregon. Inside the book, you'll find 48 uniquely Oregon adventures, highlighting many of our fish and wildlife encounters through the years. Each adventure will set you on your own path, discovering more about Oregon. Scores of colorful photos by getaway photographer Jeff Kastner show off some of our finest moments in the field. We have all the details, directions, and the contact information so you can make your own adventure right here on the Travel Oregon website, so be sure to check it out. Until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.